hello friends uh, so here we go with the isometric projection uh, question number 9 okay so where a sphere of 30 mm uh, diameter is rests on a frustum of a hexagon pyramid the base is 30 and the uh, top face is a uh, 18 so already we know like frustum of a pyramid means uh, we will be having two faces one small at the top one at the bottom okay and the height is a uh, 50 mm okay such that their axis are uh, coincides okay so draw the projection so here we need to know that uh, there is a sphere of uh, 30 mm which is placed on a first term one is 18 and next one is a uh, 30 which are separated with the distance of uh, 50 mm okay so for these things uh, we need to have a uh, first uh, two hexagons okay so one of uh, size 30 mm and one of size uh, 18 mm so here uh, in order to just have a clarity we have taken it on a white sheet but you need to do it on a grid sheet so which carries a marks for you people's okay so now we have taken a diameter uh, a radius equal to the side diameter okay so we'll take it from here so from the vertical end we'll cut from both the sides Next, the same thing we'll do it for a 30 mm also from the vertical end we'll cut a two arcs to the both the sides so that we should get a edge on the sides okay. So like this, like this we need to have a two hexagons. Okay, so when this one is done, just inscribe the hexagons inside a rectangle. So like this then measure the distance from year to year year to year okay so then from vertical from year to year then from year to year because these two are symmetric in the nature okay so similarly we need uh, the measurement from year to year, year to year. Then this is symmetric, and uh, we need one vertical from year to oh, we need year to year. So this is the edge, so we'll get that one. So then from year to also like this. 
so now we'll go on measuring the things one by one so now from here to the center we'll get around so 15 16 from here to here again we'll get a same 16 okay so this is 16 this is 16 so now if we keep it here 9 this is 18 this is a 9 so we'll get 9 18 9 okay so similarly from here to here so we'll get a 27 so total is a 54 so 27 27 then on this line so we'll get from here to here as a around 14 so this is 30 and again from here to here it's a 40 okay so this much we need yeah okay so one we get a 16 and 16 9 18 9 here 27 27 14 30 and 14 okay okay right but now see here the uh, the diameter is around 30 so here it should be around 15 only okay so 1 millimeter 15 15 so it should be equal to 30 okay so now to start with this one okay so we'll keep it here okay so first we need a the base that is a 30 okay so as usual so we'll take a one horizontal line so we'll take in one reference point here okay so now first is a 27 okay so any point 27 1 2 20 27 next again so 27 okay so from here 3 13 23 plus 4 27 okay so on this one we'll get a one corner so this corner okay so now moving 90 degree so 15 30 15 so from here 10 15 so from here 30 1 2 and 3 again from here 15 so 5 and 15 okay total we should get a 60 so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so here we'll get a 6 so 15 30 and 15 now again 27 27 if not from this corner you take a 60 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 directly will get on this point itself okay so now on this line so just move it here till here this is the point okay so now same from here you move just a uh, how much it is uh, 15 30 and a 15 so from here it is a 15 okay so 1 2 and 3 then again 15 okay so we just moved from here 27 27 then 15 30 15 then 27 27 then 15 30 15 so from here 27 27 15 30 15 then 27 27 then 15 30 15 so now just join here we have edge so here we get a corner so in not visible so thin line so here we'll get one corner okay so again we'll get one edge that is 30 so here we'll get a one edge okay so now join this and this and join these two corners you will get the center so here is the center so the height of that one is a 50 so from here you will need to move 50 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so the axis is a 50 so now we got a center here we got a 
center here okay so this is the center okay now you have to be careful the side is here so the side should come here only so we need to move this side and this side that is 16 and 16 so from here so 5 10 and 16 so 5 10 and 16 okay so now we moved here and here okay so the edge length is 18 so we need to move 9 and 9 so 9 here and 9 here okay so similarly 9 here and 9 here okay so now from the center this and this okay so 9 plus 9 9 plus 9 so it will be 18 and 18 okay so we need to move from here 18 so 10 18 so 10 and 18 okay now just see we will get a edge here and one more edge here okay so we will get a corner here and one more corner here so one more corner and one more corner so this is how exactly you can do the hexagon so now so join the each corner so visible thick so this is visible thick so this is visible thick and this one is visible thick so this is not visible so thin and this is not visible a thing okay so now from this center now we have a sphere of radius 30 oh, sorry diameter is 30 so from here you need to move radius so 10 and 5 15 here okay so once located the center take the radius there is a 15 so from the center just drop one circle okay. so like this so now we took the center from here Just drop this is a ISO 50 okay so now this line is visible from here to here so this line is visible from here to here the rest and all will be visible to us okay so this is how exactly we can do the a frustrum of a hexagon pyramid okay so what we did that so we need to have a two hexagons okay one top face one bottom face you need to inscribe in a rectangle and you need to measure the each moment from the corner first drop the base hexagon then from the center you take the height that is 50 and then from the center this is the center okay so you need to move just half a year half a year that is 16 and 16 okay so we moved a 16 and a 16 then from here okay so we need to move half of the edge length that is 18 so 9 and 9 9 and 9 okay then coming again to the center so here and here again it's a 18 and 18 so easily we'll get the, all the six corners then join okay to drop a sphere so we know like a first take the radius that is 15 1.5 box then taking the actual 15 from the scale just drop a circle okay so thank you